All right, YouTube. Well, I think I finally have aluminum cans down here. So I burnt through a big stack of them, <laughs> trying to get everything dialed in where, you know, basically some of them look decent, some of them look shitty, and just kind of experimented. And yeah, I think I finally have them to where they are starting to look passable. That one's still a little lumpy, but um, this is where I was trying to start and stop with the foot pedal. Yeah, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm actually not going to be embarrassed to, you know, pass these guys out. Still not quite as good as I would like, but I finally have my settings kind of figured out on the Dynasty here. Uh, basically, the problem I was having was as soon as I hit the go pedal, just tap it, it would want to blow a hole in my workpiece there and I know that is the uh, tungsten start uh, setting but I couldn't figure out exactly how to get to it and I'm gonna try and show you how to get to that here so I there was all these settings in the manual here that I couldn't figure out how to get to uh, by going to the hidden menu so to get to the hidden menu on the dynasty here let me focus you hit the amperage button and the adjust button and then but when you can select your different tungsten sizes here and then you have gen is your uh, custom one basically where you hit the amperage button again and you can select your different parameters now this was set oh, oh, oh shit um on 120 amps pulse where it gives you a really kick-ass start I mean you tap the foot pedal and there's no futzing around I mean it's boom going except it would blow a hole in that thin aluminum so I turned it down initially to 5 amps that was not quite enough to get decent starts so I ended up stopping at 10 amps here and yeah so that's basically what I ended up electro positive start uh, 10 amps 10 seconds I don't know exactly what all these are so my manual I don't think is for the same firmware version as this uh, welder so some of these don't quite match up with what the manual says but uh, basically I am pretty thrilled with that so I got my start settings set up here right now I'm running 30 pulses a second 30 percent background or excuse me 30 for my peak and 5 percent for the background here uh, balance of 67 is what I ended up settling on and then AC frequency of 250 hertz and then my amperage set at 30 and then just kind of working it with a foot pedal now also I have uh, initially I had just been pulling my filler metal out of the tube here and then I ended up realizing that I needed to clean it with acetone and once I cleaned my rods with acetone I had a lot less trouble um, I had been just using stainless brush on the bottoms of the cans but now I've been doing acetone stainless brush and re-acetoning again it seems like they go a lot easier it really just flows out uh, nicely there and I, I was playing around with my balance settings where the balance is the time it spends on the, AC, on the positive versus the negative side of the AC arc there um, I went up as high as 80 and I was getting decent results um, but then it seemed like it was wetting out a little better um, if I kind of backed off and I know I could probably change the frequency and get that same effect but I was kind of playing around with the balance I've been trying to take one parameter at a time change that back and forth to kind of see what I like there um, so that's kind of where I'm at now uh, so far so good they're looking decent I'm running about 10 CFH on the argon here uh, not running any helium uh, I need to take some arc shots here of uh, the helium I am really really liking the helium I am kinda getting back into the groove of doing AC TIG stuff and uh, yeah the, the aluminum really lets you reduce your heat input to where you can run a much smaller tungsten and uh, I really am digging the way it works you can Get some really nice looking beads, really fugly one there, I was trying a different setting, it didn't really work, but uh, starting to get the feel for this and starting to get a little better. Uh, got a thing of coupons ready to go here and figure I'll play around with that this afternoon, but because uh, I ran out of cans, I guess I need to drink more soda. <laughs> Not something we normally have here in the house, but uh, 
Definitely one thing, if you've got one of these dynasties, read your manual, because it's, you know, a lot of, lot of settings in there. I really kind of want one of the newer ones where you can just take the SD card out of the machine, put it in the computer, change your settings, and pop it back in there, and then have different programs for different things. Uh, also, I picked up a couple of die grinders. Uh, I'll do a video about them here shortly, but I am loving these uh, Ingersoll Rand. Um, I don't remember what models they are, but there are some of the higher end ones where they're, you know, about 150 bucks a piece, and I am uh, really, really liking them, especially this one, where I got a bunch of flap discs and other accessories for it, and I should have, actually what I am waiting on now, a uh, Dynafile or Dyna Braid uh, air file, which uh, is out for delivery today. So, pretty excited about that. I'll take some video about that when I get up here. But I'm Darlington Farm. There's a little update there on the cans and kind of what I'm up to. Thank you for watching.